Hey there, welcome back to News of Five of Meteorologist Julia Quady. Right now we're taking a live look at our CCC Sky Cam over in Snoopy's Pier. We can see we got some gorgeous sunshine still left our forecast for this afternoon. But if you did enjoy the sunshine that we did have for pretty much all of this week, we will be inspecting a change, expecting I should say, a change coming to the forecast tomorrow and heading towards this weekend. We've been talking about that tropical moisture finally moving its way into the area. That's going to give us our rain chances coming in beginning tomorrow. Before we get there, let's go ahead and take a look at our current conditions right now with our temperatures and our feel like temperatures. Most of us all across the area, at least into the upper 80s, maybe a little bit into the lower 90s in areas like Kingsville, Alice and Mathis right now still hang on strong with their temperatures in the low 90s. But again, temperatures will continue to cool down as we head into our evening hours as well as our winds. They've been a bit blustery at times throughout parts of this afternoon, but we will expect our wind gusts and our wind speeds will start to cool down and slow down a bit. Still going to be in the double digits for most of the early part of this evening, then getting closer to the midnight hours, then dropping into the single digits before we slowly increase back up into uh, the teens with our wind speeds looking ahead of tomorrow afternoon. Now again, as we talk about that tropical moisture that we've been discussing pretty much all this week, this is what we're talking about. Of course, we still have that same tropical disturbance that uh, some point earlier this week, even yesterday, still having a moderate chance, so a 40% chance specifically to have some tropical development and to maybe form into uh, the next stage of the tropical cyclone process potentially over the next seven days. That did not happen. If anything, the system has now decreased in its likelihood, now looking at only maybe a 20 to 30% chance for formation over the next seven days. So now the system at best is just going to be our rainmaker coming into tomorrow as well as uh, into your weekend too as that moisture is going to start to reach a little bit closer to our coastal waters. That's why we're seeing a little bit more extra cloud cover in our forecast today. But that cloud coverage is going to add to rainfall coming into the forecast. Just looking ahead of tomorrow afternoon, maybe through parts of the morning hours too for our coastal neighborhoods. But for now, we see that dry air is still persisting for now. That's why we're still seeing that closer range between our feel like temperatures and our air temperatures. But looking ahead of tomorrow, we'll start to see that plume of moisture start to push its way into the coastal bend during the morning and afternoon hours on your Friday, adding to our rain chances because that's all we really need to finally get rain in the forecast. We just need some deep moisture to finally move on through into our area and that's set to last in our forecast not only tomorrow on your Friday but then leading to your weekend on your Saturday and then persisting in the forecast even as we can head towards your Sunday too. So maybe not a complete washout but a significant amount of rainfall could be coming in with some uh, thunderstorms pushing on through as well. Looking ahead on your Friday night particularly our rainiest day potentially being on your Saturday as well and then decreasing as we head into your Sunday but then we'll have drier air returning back to the forecast looking ahead to early next week. That's going to be due to a cold front that's going to push into our area, going to cool down our high temperatures to the upper 80s and our lows into the lower 60s.